solidarity is a key factor for women in fighting gender imbalance and all forms of abuse against women in the society. These were the views expressed by women under the auspices of uh, Sisterhood Across Borders Conference held to celebrate the leadership journey of uh, former First Lady of Ikita State, Bisi Akonde. They encouraged women to stand together in sisterhood and speak up against all forms of violence. A lot of women within our communities, especially those of us that work in rural communities, found it difficult to speak out. The few of them who were speaking out about the abuses that they were undergoing, either sexual abuse or physical abuse, didn't know the proper or appropriate channels to be able to get the support they need. It seems today, he says, sisterhood across borders. Women should begin to support themselves. Older women should support younger women. Younger women should also learn to be able to share ideas with the older people. Because as more women work together in unity, in um, embracing our diversity, then we can advance not just Nigeria, World. Currently, we have less than five percent, you know, of women. Uh, if we put them together in political uh, position in Nigeria currently, and that's why we feel that it becomes important for us to listen to listen to sisters from across the country. We have seen part of building, you know, looking forward, so that we don't continue to lament about the numbers that we have that is not enough, but rather to look forward that if we are in sisterhood, we can do more. We have over fifty percent women in this country. So if we can work together in solidarity, in sisterhood, I am very sure that we'll be able to address some of the obstacles that we are you know, facing today. And that is one of the reasons why uh, we are having this conference. They called on the President Bola Tunubu to implement the Nigerian gender policy and ensure that more positions are reserved for women when he rules out his final ministerial list. Despite of a court judgment given in favor of the Nigerian Women Trust Fund. So we hope that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, as somebody who has been a Democrat and a progressive, will implement the Nigerian gender policy. And when he rules out his nominations for ministerial positions, that at least 35% of the positions are reserved for women. I expect full inclusion of women. Uh, I expect full mainstreaming of gender issues uh, because governance is about gender responsiveness. Governance is about development that um, goes on with the voices of women, the expertise of women. Generally, men and women are important to governance, so women should not be left behind. We've had some milestones. We've grown. Yes, we've suffered some setbacks, but we are hopeful and really um, hoping that with this new dispensation that we have now, with the new government and with the sisterhood that has been, ex that has been exhibited over the, the years and the decades, that we would see that reflected in uh, appointments, in politics, I mean, in, in various positions as the new government settles in. We are hopeful that this sisterhood would reflect and that... Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.